Hey guys, well I'm out in the shop today and I'm going to be redoing the control panel for the G0602. I've got it glued down to a piece of Corian and I'm just using some 3M77. It's just some spray adhesive uh, and I just sprayed both sides and then glued it down. That should keep it secure while I do the engraving and then do the cutout for the holes and the tachometer. So I had this drawn up in cam bam and all I'm going to do is first just do a test to make sure my engraving looks good. All I did was just copy and pasted this into the cutout area. Just going to do some test engraving and then we'll come back and we'll do the whole thing. We'll cut out for the three holes and the tachometer. So let's get this test underway. Make sure that it's good. see what it looks like okay it looks pretty good but I didn't quite get deep enough it doesn't appear so I'm gonna adjust that and then we'll try it again okay I went back and adjusted a little bit and that's that looks really good pretty happy with that it's nice and smooth uh, I'm using just a eighth inch center drill here and it does a really good job of engraving and this is uh, 3 sixteenths high on the lettering so now that I have that set up I'm going to go ahead and engrave the rest of the plate and then we'll come back and we'll do our cutouts last.
take a look. You can see that turned out really nice. Really nice on that. <clears throat> the engraving turned out really nice. Pretty happy with that. Alright, so now I'm going to set up for the cutouts. And we'll run that code. Okay, I switched over to a two flute quarter inch end mill and we're going to give that a shot now. I'm running at 3,000 RPMs. to cut some chips um, I've always had trouble with the thin sheet metal for some reason I think the smaller end mills they just tend to clog up I only had a two flute in a quarter inch so that gave it a little bit more space to uh, evacuate the chips I think as you can see, the 3M tape works, or the 3M adhesive, uh, the spray adhesive 77 works really well. I'm going to clean this off now, and we'll take it off, and we'll get everything fitted, and get it mounted to the G0602. Hey guys, well, here you can see the finished face plate, control plate turned out really nice and now I only have the three buttons that I use my e-stop on and the off button I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out uh, and now as far as the complete CNC conversion on the G0602 it's now complete I've got some more projects for the G0602 that I'm going to be working on in the future. If anyone's interested in just doing a VFD upgrade on your G0602, uh, shoot me an email. I have my old control panel available. It includes all the buttons, the tachometer, and proximity switch. Uh, plus I'll include my wiring diagrams and all the photos and everything you need to complete your VFD upgrade. And thanks for watching guys, stay tuned. I've got uh, 
some other upgrades I want to do to the G0602. I'm working on some gain tooling uh, options. I've got some ideas and I'll probably go over those in a future video. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, stop by and visit the website, and most importantly, be safe.